TGI Friday, gang. We made it. <laughs> we made it through Friday, September 10th, and then through the weekend. Tomorrow, of course, 9-11, may we never forget. And seriously, we pause for a moment to remember and reflect. And Stephanie will be here to talk about Scorpio in our medical astrology tomorrow. And it is a great segment as we go deep or go home. Now, somebody on uh, iTunes left a comment that they didn't like announcements. And I was like, well, I'm trying to keep you guys informed of some of the things that are going on. And somebody left a one-star review with that. It's like, okay, or two, something like that. Thank you for sharing. Maybe you guys who haven't left an iTunes comment, if you listen on iTunes and you like what we're doing here, plunk it down. That always helps. And if you don't like it, send me an email. Let's talk about it because there might be a reason for it. And I would also love to hear your thoughts. So I'm going to say I got some announcements. And I'll also warn you, we don't have a lot of astrology this weekend, but I've got a compensation. So bear with me if you love what we're doing. I've just got a couple of behind-the-scenes things that I wanted to let you know about. Tomorrow, Stephanie Scorpio. Robert Glasscock, this guy that I've been in these classes with, is doing another horary practicum. So if you would like to get in on the conversation about horary astrology, where you ask the chart a question, and many, many times it gives you an answer, well, it's a five-week practicum. So in other words, it's not how do you learn horary it's how do you practice it? How do you put it in application? Robert Glasscock has a two-hour video series on YouTube that if you watch, if you just search up Robert Glasscock, G-L-A-S-S-C-O-C-K, and Horary, H-O-R-A-R-Y, you will see that video series. And if you watch it and you are okay with that at your level, then you could do the practicum. The practicum is 100 bucks. How do you find it? You go to keplercollege.org. In the upper right is a search box. You put Glasscock, and it comes right up. It's Practicum 14, Horary Practicum 14. He is also going to be doing a new Solar Arc Practicum. I will warn you, it gets highly political, and there are a lot of people that just don't want to hear about the politics myself included. So I'm debating whether to renew on that one, but I am going to do the horror area. In other words, I, I find just tremendous value in that. And thank you in advance for letting me do that, catch you up to speed. All right. As far as the astrology goes, we have a moon in Scorpio already today, and we have a moon moving into Sagittarius at 430 Sunday afternoon. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Seriously. There are a couple of quincunxes, nothing to get worried about, you yod people, nothing to get worried about. One is the moon and the south nodes. I mean, that's a that's on roller skates, that one. Mercury and Uranus is the other quincunx, and neither of those are in position for a yod. So you can do a great big collective sigh of relief. Now let's dig a little deeper on what is there. First of all, the moon is in Scorpio. You remember a month ago when the moon was in Scorpio? I remember... Every like almost everybody that I correspond with was talking about how heavy they felt for those two or three days. So not wanting to invite a repeat of that, but just realize Scorpio is Scorpio and our emotions might be a little extra deep and tense this weekend. Now, we do have another log to add on the fire. This happens at 225 this afternoon. The moon will square Saturn in the chart. A lot of times we don't talk about these lunar aspects through the day because they do come and go so quickly. But as you get up this morning, if you're listening to this early, the moon is applying. It's about three or four degrees away from Saturn. And by 225 Eastern time this afternoon, it catches up with it and squares it exactly. So again, which side of Saturn are you on? Are you resisting Saturn's work in your life or are you being compliant with it? If you're being compliant with it, watch for some insights and revelations that might come up under this Scorpio moon energy. If you're resisting it, duck. <laughs> Seriously, the moon is in Scorpio. Don't mess around with astrology. The thing to do is, is to just not resist these processes. And I keep reminding people, look, every one of us chose to be here. If you would like a wonderful explanation of that concept, pick up the audiobook Lives of the Soul, and listen, it's very quick listen, but that Fred Dodson explains exactly how we chose to be here. 
And that has to be a predicate or premise of everything that we do here is to understand that we chose this. So we don't need to fret what we chose. One of the most powerful things about what's going on right now is this is a once in multi-centuries opportunity under Saturn and Pluto and Capricorn to do this kind of spiritual work. So yes, it has been intense. It might get more intense. It might not get more intense, but we chose to be here to do this work during this time. So if nothing else, maybe today is a really good time under that deep Scorpio moon to just evaluate. Where am I? What am I resisting? What am I welcoming? Am I doing the work? And if not, spend some time this weekend aligning with it. You'll find that these transformational planets will be your friend. Back with Stephanie tomorrow. Speaking of Scorpio, we're all over it. Medical astrology. I'll see you back then. Have a good Friday.